Hello my friends, my plant-based food art friends, our beautiful food artists. We just finished a little bit ago, 32 minutes ago, <laughs> our day four of our five day beautiful food art challenge. It's Melanie Albert with Experience Nutrition and Plant-Based Food Art. And I just thought I'd give you a little recap. I thought this was useful yesterday. So for those of you that weren't with us, or if you just wanna see close-ups again, in addition to what you saw on the live or when you watch the replay, I'm gonna kinda of give you a little behind the scenes on what we did today. So let me flip the camera around. So yeah, I wanna show you a few things. First, I guess I'm gonna go here first. Last night after we finished the pie, the cacao pie, I actually had some extra uh, cacao, so I made some balls and just kind of rolled them and rolled some in the pecans and cacao nibs, matcha powder, and the cacao itself. And then the other thing is I was thinking about our food art today, so I actually sketched out just a really rough idea on how I thought the food art might look. Called it Flower Power Cacao Bliss Pie, so It'll make more sense when I show you the pie. And then here are our beautiful ingredients that I had to work with for our food art. So I know that in the recipe we started and basically said, well, we're gonna have some berries, some raspberries and some edible flowers. So I had nasturtiums to choose from. I actually had some lavender and chamomile and some marigolds. Marigolds are available everywhere usually. I also dehydrated some star fruit when I was down in Florida, dehydrated some of the Meyer lemon the other day, and I had some pecans. So that was kind of the ingredients that I had to plate the plate or food art, the dessert. And let me show you, here's what we ended up with. We had interactive plating today, interactive food art. So I placed the cacao pie onto the plate. We added some raspberries, some of the dried fruit, and some of the herbs. So the really important thing is to kind of let the food art flow. So I actually ended up putting the herbs down first, added the berries because they're a little bit bigger, and then just started getting creative with the flowers. And that's it. So there is our raw, I can't say raw anymore. There is our Cacao Bliss beautiful food art from day four of our five day beautiful food art challenge. And then the other thing that we did, we talked about the food art method and really all of the different areas in the food art part of the system. So it's getting to know food art with what it is and beauty and mindfulness, getting set. I always come back to the tools and the food and the mise en place, setting the foundation with different plates and bowls and white space and simplicity. I posted a photo last night with white space with the veggies. It was really pretty and impactful. Adding the art, so colors, contrast, and texture. We do a little bit of that today. Layering up and down. So with the avocado tartare, we kind of went vertical. And with the veggie bowl, we went more horizontal, elevating the art. The power of three, sauces and swirls, herbs and flowers, we touched on that today. Draw it and plate it, which I did a little bit of that. And then really your own food art. After we kind of learn a lot of this, we really do create our own method and our own style. I should say our own style. So we can visualize our art, food art, we can add emotion, practice, and then creating our own style. So it's Melanie Albert here, I see somebody's joined in, and I'm just giving a little recap on what we did in our challenge today, day four. And then the other thing that I mentioned is that I decided, because we were having such great community here and so much fun, I put together a program, and it's on our website right now, foodartchallenge.com slash 2022 winter jan foodartchallenge.com 2022 winter jan and it's basically 
the Winter Beautiful Food Art Experience. So you can take a look there, check it out. Six weeks of us virtually cooking together. People that register early will get a private 30 minute food art session with me. We're gonna have a welcome session really soon on January 12th. I really thought about the topics to do recipes and food art, salads, veggies, Mediterranean apps, more desserts, signature flatbread, which I've never taught before, and intuitive cooking with farmer's market goodies. And then some bonuses. We're gonna add in a veggie burger week. I'm gonna do a live with stocking the kitchen and kitchen tools and saving $500 on the retreat. So take a look at the website, foodartchallenge.com, 2022 Winter Jan, and all this is 997. So the most important thing for me is just showing you again the beautiful Cacao Bliss pie and the food art that we teamwork created today in day four of our beautiful food art challenge. So I look forward to seeing your creations and seeing you tomorrow on day five, where, let me turn the camera around, where tomorrow what I'm gonna be doing is a little bit more about elevating the food art, and I'm also gonna do some farmer's market intuitive cooking. So that's kind of our gen agenda for tomorrow. Have fun. Um, I just mentioned at the end of the live, today's my football day, so I'm also going to be watching some football. But enjoy creating your, your beautiful food art dishes and have fun and enjoy the rest of your day. It's Melanie Albert with Experience Nutrition and Plant-Based Food Art. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to flip it around one more time so you can see the beauty. There we go. Pause and just soak in the beauty.